Welcome to the show. Lex Bubbles here joining me on the show here tonight. Live 265, iHeartRadio, Sports and Hip Hop with DJ Mad Max. Lex Bubble, what's going on, man? How's your night? What's going, what's going great, man? On the highway right now. You out in CT right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on CT, man. Yeah, I, I was doing my research on you. El Nice was telling me about you from the north end of Bridgeport. I'm actually a Connecticut native. I'm from Norwalk as well. All right, all right. That's what's up. Don't walk with Bridgeport, you know? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How hard has it been for you to, to really make some connections out of here and grow yourself as a musician? Because I, I know what it's like as a creative. There really isn't much resource here, so you got to go out of state and build your connections. Yeah, absolutely. you got to really um, you got really chase the dream. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's bigger. It's way bigger than Connecticut. You definitely got to get out there. You got to put yourself out there. You got to brush shoulders with people. You got to network. Because you're only as big as your network, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You started this journey about seven years ago on a serious note. So what were the first moves that you were making to get your name out there? Um, um, like a, a lot of uh, dropping a lot of content, you know what I'm saying? Um, interacting with other artists, you know what I mean? Popping up at, at events, you know what I mean? Um, showing love, supporting. When people see you supporting, they, they you know what I mean? Not everybody, but some people. I mean, your brush shoulders with the right people. So I, that's that was like the first step. Making making sure I'm seen, popping out to these. You recently released. There. Yep, you recently released your No Excuses project, and you already have a new EP on the way. Back to business. When can we expect this upcoming EP? Um, right now I have no date, but I I say around sometime September. It's going to feature too much on there as well, because I know that was a single you released earlier this year. Absolutely. Got a lot on the way. Some producers you want to mention that you linked up with for the project? You got some exclusives? Um, absolutely. Uh, Matrix Beats. He, uh, he produced for, like, Kodak and shit like that. Um, Diddy Broker, he produced for, like, Don Q, Fat Boy, SSE, um, Troy Ave, you know what I mean? Um, Prince Kid, you know what I mean? Troy Ave, yeah, shout out to Troy Ave, that's interesting, yeah, he, he's one of the underrated yeah, ones cool. out here, he, he, I feel like he has a Connecticut following, a lot of people from Connecticut rock with Troy Ave. Yeah, 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 they do, they do, um, shout out to Gentry Beats too, Gentry Beats is the one that made the too much uh, beat. Yeah, your influences draw all the way back from Jay-Z, The Locks, Yo Gotti, and, and what's even interesting in learning about your interest in Irv Gotti. Yeah, cause cause it's hunger. Like when when once, especially once I watched the um the Rough Rider uh uh autobiography or whatever, and I just see how his hunger was, the air he had for X and shit like that. That made me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Lock in with that. Now Lex Bubble, being from Connecticut, was there an artist from Bridgeport or anywhere in Connecticut that inspired your journey to make it out? Because there's some local rappers that we have here, such as a Norwalk, Chris Webby, and even Annoyed. He's someone that's making some noise out here right now. Brillo is actually in Bridgeport as well. Yeah, I, I rock out. I rock out with uh, the names you said. Shout out to Sholey. You know Sholey's I mean? another one, yeah. Yeah, Keith the God, Craze White. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Ty Henny. Um, you know, um, Cash, Mundo, uh, you know, my own, you feel me? You know what I mean? Yeah. Just everybody's working. Everybody's working. You know what I mean? Everybody's working. There's a lot of um, upcoming artists is making noise, too, right now out here. Like, um, Samo, uh, Samor, whatever, Shamar, something like that. He's making noise with that track, um, Shake, Jada Eve. So, you know, artists is working. Artists is definitely working. Detroit has a big buzz out, out here right now. Do you see Connecticut eventually ever getting that big buzz? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I, I, I believe so. Like, I really believe so. I really believe so. A lot of artists is coming together more now. You know what I mean? More than ever. And then everybody's working. You know, I see. We just, everybody just got to do what they got to do. Right now, I'm just staying focused on what I got going on and, and the people around me. You know? This what's your this, what's your thoughts on when you look back at Raekwon's incarcerated Scarfaces when he says peace to Connecticut? Um, we coming. <laughs> he he he, he, <laughs> he seen Forbes that we coming. They rock with us. 
we're next up. I, I, I do think we are. We have some hidden gems out here. We don't have the spotlight on us because we're covered by New York in the tri-state area. But if people really gave us a showcase out here, I think we could pop for sure. Absolutely. 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 It's coming. It's, I, I feel real strong about this year. It was inspiring hearing about your journey with your mom and growing up in Bridgeport and how she worked two jobs to take care of you. Absolutely. And me and two of my other sisters. You know what I'm saying? My mom, she's very strong. You know what I'm saying? So I really do it for her, too. Her and my sisters. You know what I'm saying? She did her thing. Or work, work, worked her ass off. You know what I mean? She tried her hardest. So while she was doing that, you know, I turned to the streets. You no know, pops, selling weed, 16. You know what I mean? It, it's deeper than that, too. But I just really don't want to, you know, speak too much on that. Like how I gave it up in the joint, but Pretty much that's what it was. Started selling dope for the weed. Work. I worked my first job. You know what I mean? I, that wasn't it. My first job was at a barbershop. So up here. Shout out to Sean. You know, a good looking barbershop. Bush Book, Connecticut. You know what I mean? He actually a skinny boy. You, you heard of skinny boys. They, yeah. they, they made it. Like the yeah, yeah. That's Sean. He the one. You know what I mean? I used to work for him in the barbershop and shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just learning about your journey, though. You're coming up here. You're coming through. How did you get connected with Al Nice? Um, he came. He did a um, plug and play one time at Just Right Studios in Bridgeport, and I met him there. And then, um, you know, we followed each other on Instagram. So you know, I just be following his moves, and I just decided to, you know, reach out to him. You know what I mean? And it's like he rocking out with me. So you know, I'm just trying to play my part, do what I gotta do better myself as an artist and you know have there been any djs in connecticut and even new york city that have taken to your music and have helped you out and pushing you a little bit um i more so like um like new york uh dj perfect shout out to dj perfect you know what i'm saying he like yeah i was in the club the other night you know he did his thing whatever so dj perfect rock out with me i think what it's going to take for us in connecticut is to have that viral moment once an artist goes viral here, I think that's when Connecticut's really going to be put on the map. The right, the right people really got to come together too. You know what I mean? It's still, it's still a little bit of that uh, hate. People got to get out. I feel like I, I feel like I'm like I'm underrated too. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I feel like I'm definitely, definitely, definitely like uh, people got to tune in. Like, cause you know I'll be hearing louder. And I hear, I hear a lot of interviews, a lot of shit, and my name never really get mentioned like that. You know what I mean? That gives me my grind, too, like, you know what I'm saying? My my hunger, too. I, I feel as though when, when they bring up Connecticut artists, we're never mentioned, though. I mean, yeah. if we're talking about Connecticut artist interviews and if they don't bring your name up, that's one thing. But yeah. if it's, like, outside okay. interviews and people talking about Connecticut, we're never mentioned. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside, but now I'm talking about people that, you know what I mean? From the area. From exactly. From Connecticut. I know. I know they see, cause I, my work ethic is, is is there. I know they see it. My dropping my content, videos, they see it. They hear it. Some of them just overlooking it, but then they gonna be the one that's gonna be gravitating to it later, trying to ride the wave. Exactly. Ride they, the they wave jump and on. get crushed by it, man. Simple <laughs> as that. That's right. They jump on as soon as you get that one good look, and then. You, you got to spot the yeah. wheel from the fake out here. Any talks with that, some distribution good. labels yet, like Empire? I know Empire offers a lot to independent artists out here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I haven't really um talked to anybody yet about anything. Nope. I'm no, sure that'll yet. come. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely sure it'll come. And I'm saying it humbly because I'm real humble at this. And I just, I, you know what I mean? I work, get it done. And I, and I feel like I'm different. It, like when people hear me i don't think they could be like oh you sound like this you sound like that I, I feel i have my own sound if you ever locked into any of my videos and my music like you know what i mean you'll understand what i'm talking about you know what i mean like and, and it's different i'm an artist i come different ways i like to make music you know what i mean what would you say connecticut's main sound of hip-hop is when we think about it is it just everyone has their own individuality or we ride the wave of the tri-state or whatever's trendy in the um, industry a lot of people like to ride the wave of what's going on to tri-state. You hear a lot of people with that drill. You know what I mean? That's that's why. That's why I say people like 
like the Lex Bubble, the Crazy White, the Keys to God. These these is different artists. Crazy White still on his rap shit. Never let that. Re- so I mean, that's coming back. I mean, the, the the rap shit coming back. Shout out to um the the Millie from the city. He just dropped the tape shortly on there. You know what I'm saying? The rap coming back. Everybody got their own style. That's what people's gonna gravitate to. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what people's really gonna gravitate to. I agree. I feel like Connecticut is just that extension of New York at times that we embrace the bars. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's coming back, man. But what's your plans for the summer? Huh? What's your plans for the summer as far as pushing yourself more and getting more out there in your next Um, step? I I have a little little project. So I'll be in Cali August 6th. I have a little project um, to do for this, this company called Dream Network or whatever. They got going on, so it's gonna be like I'm doing some tracks with like pop artists and shit like that. There's some girl out there in Cali, like she's big, uh, you know what I mean? Um, um, Spanish, whatever. She's big. She's on a project too, so I'm gonna be on projects with, with people with names and shit like that. Just not like street wise or rap wise and shit like that. Like making music, making making art, or whatever. Who are some known artists that you would love to get in the studio with, with the right opportunities? Uh, Lil Baby, Five Hill Forum, um, <clears throat> GZ. I definitely want to do, even though I don't think they even rap, rap no more. Um, um, Gotti, Money Bag, you know what I mean? ESTG. You know what I'm saying? Just not really too many. Not really too many. And then on the GOAT level, Drake, you know what I mean? <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get a Drake now, record, it's I'm, over. Yeah, yeah, you get a Drake feature, it's up. It's up. It's up. I get a Drake feature. That's all <laughs> you need. But you get a Meek Mill feature too, and that's all That's all you need as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I'm glad to hear that you're connecting with artists from the West Coast and Cali because Cali is the land of opportunities, and it's always good to expand even further from the tri-state. And this is going to be my first time out there. See, I've been on papers my whole life, so I never even caught a plane. If I ever went anywhere, I always had to drive. So this is about to be my first year on a plane and doing shit like that. i never even been in Miami before, believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cali, never been. Vegas, never been. Mexico, never been. You know what I'm saying? Puerto Rico, never been. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you about all the trenches. And DC and and <laughs> all that other shit. So this year is just the year for opportunity. You know what I'm saying? To like do different shit and, and make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And make it and, and see the world different. Yeah. You have a fear of flights? Nah. No, nah, you just nah. never been on a plane. I just never. Nah, I never could. You know what I mean? Fly. Never could leave. Always been, you know, on paper and shit. You know how that is. Yeah, yeah. Got to sneak out the state. Got to jump in the car. Hit the highway. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, but I believe you're love gonna make Atlanta, it out. Though. I love Atlanta. I've been out there a few times. This is gonna be your year though, man. You're already you're already working towards it. You got the upcoming EP, back to business. And anything else, man, Lex Bubble, that you want to get out here on the show here oh, tonight that you want to let the... um another tape coming out, a little EP joint with Crazy White called Crazy Bubble. You know what I'm saying? That 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 we gonna do that too. You know what I'm saying? And just, just working. Another video. I'm going to shoot the too much video. You know what I mean? Got a video coming up with Christian. My guy, Christian Kennedy. Shout him out. He just did a crazy video with uh, Ray Maserati. Directed and that shit. You know what I mean? Called Eminem. Eminem. That shit, gonna, that shit's tough. You got to be at Toad's Place soon. Yeah. But Toad's Place, that, um... Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to say, because I was trying to do a little event there with a few people, and they don't book, like, local local shit there no more. Really? Yeah, because I know yeah. independent artists used to go there quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I just found that out, because we, we trying to put something together, and they were saying they don't, like, do local showcases, or something. I guess other people from, I don't know. They're booking all out-of-town like, talent now more. Yeah. Especially if yeah. you're a legend or huge. Yeah, some shit like that, but too bad, you know? Yeah. They should at least support the local artists, but apparently not. You got to be already established. The industry, it's tough, but eventually you're going to get there. You're working. Any upcoming performances? 
Um, yes, the ninth, I'm at Metric. Um, I believe the fourth, I'm in New York. You know, and I think we'll have a Philly, Sunday in Philly coming up. Build those connections in your network even more. The producers, it's all about networking wherever you go. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially being from right. Connecticut, you got to take advantage. You got to. You got to. You got, you got to. to. Re representing the 203. The best way I could, too. I'm yeah. coming, stepping. I'm coming, stepping. You are, man. Lex Bubble, anything else? Anything else before hey, we shout get out to El Nice, man. You know yeah, shout out to El Nice here. for connecting us, too. Shout out the whole Bridgeport. Shout out the whole Connecticut, 203. Lex Bubble. o and &E Bubble Gang. Whole Chumbo Lab. You already know. Tell them. RP my ones, see my ones. RP the real, you know? And they can follow you on yeah. Instagram at Lex Bubble Up. Absolutely. You follow me on all sites, like everything. Lex Bubble Up. One word. Very easy. You already know, man. Lex Bubble, anytime that you need your promo, just let me know. Especially being from Connecticut, you always have a spot here on the show to get your music promoted. Keep going. I'm looking forward to seeing you be one of the artists to put it on the map for us. Keep going. I already know. Got you covered like blankets, baby. No doubt, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your night. Take care. Stay safe. All right, man? You're already. Tell them. Peace out, man.